Okay, so I'm going to read here a quote, a real, actual, live quote. I'm not going to say who it's from, but you should probably know. Uh, let's just get to it. We'll have an economy based on the wind. I never understood wind. You know, I know windmills very much. I've studied it better than anybody I know. It's very expensive. They're made in China and Germany, mostly. Very few made here, almost none. But they're manufactured tremendous. If you're into this, tremendous fumes. Gases are spewing into the atmosphere. You know we have a world, right? So the world is tiny compared to the universe. So tremendous. Tremendous amounts of fumes and everything. You talk about the carbon footprint. Fumes are spewing into the air. Right? Spewing! Whether it's in China, Germany, it's going into the air. It's our air, their air, everything. Right? Okay, so there's two things that we should address here. One, what is the wind? And how can you understand the wind? And number two, how does a wind turbine work? And I'm going to go over both of those. So let's first talk about the wind. Okay, so suppose the wind is due to high pressures. Suppose I have this. I don't know if you can see this. This is, a, this is like a hill of air. You know, you like to think of the atmosphere as just constant. But if you looked at it from above, I mean, it's not flat. There's bumps. It's like waves in the water. Okay. And so if I have a region of high pressure, then that air doesn't want to stay at high pressure. It wants to move out. So that high pressure air, the air moves away from the high pressure. So high pressure systems essentially create wind. Now, there are lots of things that can create wind. That's one of them. You know, you can have uh, updrafts. You can have mountains can create wind. Um, People that talk too much can create wind. Okay, uh, so this is here is a, a map that you you might see. I don't know if you can see that very well. Uh, this is a map of the isobars. Each one of these lines represents constant pressure. And so I just want to show you this because you see it in weather maps. And the regions where the isobars are closer together, there's a greater pressure gradient and greater wind. So this there'd be more wind over here and less wind over there. Okay, but what caused the higher pressure? Uh, one of the things is this, the Earth. Okay, so imagine the Earth is like this. The sun comes in right here, and it heats up this part more than it heats up down over here because the angle of the light hits the ground. Uh, it's in the air for longer. It's in the sky for a longer time. That's one of the things. The sun, differential heating due to the sun can cause greater pressure, which creates wind. And not the only reason. Okay. And then it's much more complicated because you've got spinning earth, you've got mountains, you've got oceans, you've got different temperatures. The water isn't usually as hot as the land and all that stuff. Okay. Uh, so the wind is not free energy. It really comes from the sun. The sun, if you didn't have a sun, you really wouldn't have a significant... Uh, wind on the earth, and then we can use that wind to make wind turbines and get energy, and that's what I'm going to show you next. Okay, so the key to a wind turbine is this, a magnet. And th there's more than one way to do this, but this is one way. There's a magnet and a coil of wire. So it turns out that I have this coil of wire hooked up to this galvanometer that measures very low currents, and it turns out that if I move the magnet into the coil, we can see a current. Not, not a huge current, because I don't have a a large amount of wire. Having the magnetic field there doesn't do anything. You have to change the magnetic field. See? And the faster I change the magnetic field, the more current I get. So a changing magnetic field makes an electric current. And that's the key. Okay, so let me show you an actual turbine. Okay, so here I have a hand crank generator. Uh, this is not anything special. This is really just an uh, electric wire, a wire with a, a magnet in there. Uh, it's actually the same thing as an electric motor. And I'll show you that right here with the battery. If I take this battery and I connect the hand crank generator to the battery, it's not, it's not a great thing, but it is turning, right? It's acting as a, as a, as a motor. Okay. Now let's take this and hook it up to a voltmeter. And I could have used a light bulb, but... And now as I turn this crank, 
you can see I am getting a voltage. So what's happening is I'm actually rotating, essentially rotating a magnet in a coil of wire. So it's, I'm taking a magnet like this and I'm rotating it around. So I'm changing the magnetic field through a coil of wire and that generates a current. So if I just crank this, I can get up to, I'm at point, I'm at point three volts. Okay. Uh, I, I should point out, if you disconnect this and I turn it, it's very easy to turn. So it is hard, you're not getting free energy. It take, it's harder to turn that when it's connected to something than when it's not. Okay, so this, if I replace this with a hand and instead have wind blowing, it's a wind turbine. Okay, let, let's actually do that. Okay, let's make a wind turbine. So here is a tiny little uh, motor. This actually was supposed to spin as part of a little uh, set and it spins and launches this little blade up, but I'm going to use it the opposite way. I instead taped it down so it can't move and then I connected this to my voltmeter. Okay, so now if I spin this, if you can see, even just spinning with my hand, I get 0.05 volts, something like that. Okay, uh, just so you know, this is another fan. This is a, uh, a fan from a heat sink or computer. This won't work, okay? So these, these actually work in a different way. They, they use a different signal. It's not the same kind of motor as that. So most of these kind aren't gonna work, sorry. Okay, but they are cool. Okay, so let's hook up my air compressor and see if I can get this thing spinning really fast. This might fail terribly. Okay, you ready? Can you see the, here we go. I got one volt, I, I'm actually kind of impressed with myself to tell you the truth. Okay, so that's wind and wind turbines.